Have you ever wanted to create a beautiful corporate video for yourself, maybe for your channel or for a client using your smartphone and you don't know how to go about it? Well, today you are in luck because I have put together a tutorial for you. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this beautiful and simple corporate video on your smartphone using KindMaster. Hello guys, BJ Manuel here from Abstract Graphics. I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to this channel if today is your first time. And to all returning subscribers, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. All right, without any further ado, let's jump right into the video of today. So considering how simple this project is, I won't be doing it from the scratch. I'll only be showing you how I went about doing it, alright? So you can just follow through, okay? Um, don't worry, everything you are going to need, I'm going to drop in um, a folder and the link is going to be in the description below, okay? So, um, so let's get started now. Okay, so the first scene is like this, alright? So you are going to see all these circles in the folder that I'm going to be sharing the link um so i actually created it with um pixel lab all right so if you want to create yours by yourself say you want to change the color or something you can just go to uh, pixel lab draw a circle and um, change the color use a gradient color period uh, for the outline circle these ones they are outlines all right instead of using a few you won't use a few you just use outlines and that's all okay so for these smaller ones all i just did is duplicate these bigger ones and then i reduce them in size and so you can have what i'm trying to say is you come here you duplicate this okay so then you have something like this and you just reduce it in size okay so that's how simple this is okay guys um it's not that hard now for how this all came in so you um, bring this one in you drop it right there right way right way it, it is with the same size and then you come in with the in animation and you use slide left period for this one you drop it there and you use the in animation um, slide down period and then for this one you are using also the overall animation which is spin clockwise all right so it is spinning if you look carefully you will discover it is spinning clockwise all right um the same thing with this one in uh, animation is um, slide up okay and um, one second all the animations are one second so you also use the counterclockwise so it's spinning the other way okay so for this one we are using the in animation slide down okay and then for this one we are using the in animation um, slide down also okay so so for the text I use the open sans um, text family font family and um, for the graphics I use the open sans extra bold and then for the um, abstract I use a lighter one so um, which is um, open sans bold all right so for the f the graphics it is open sans extra bold and for that it is open sans bold all right so basically that's it and then for this um this box uh how you get that done that's the box here this one here um sorry yeah this box right there how you get that done is by clicking on your layer and get that change your color to this one and then you just draw select a, a box as, as a matter of fact a square and then you just draw it period that's it nothing extra okay so that's how we we got that done and then you type in your text there and that's scene one for you now scene two is a little bit different because we have our images now we have an image all right so Alright, so uh, what you do now is all you need to do is just duplicate. For instance, you click on this, you duplicate it, okay, and then you look for the ones the one you just duplicated. Now, this is the one you duplicated, the one with the yellow is the one you just duplicated. This is how you know the one you duplicated, and then you 
press and hold and drag it into your second scene now before you begin to do all that make sure you have already copied and duplicated this one so you have to duplicate this one first and then you have it here before you begin to duplicate the elements right so now that you've duplicated that guy right there you have it here so all you need to do is just adjust it um, extend it increase it in size a little bit and drop it right there okay so period and then you do the same thing for the rest of the elements this one is the same element you are um, duplicating here so this circle and the circle the other circle behind here this circle they are the same all i did is duplicate them and drop it here you are not doing anything extra now for this circle how i created this circle i go into my layer grab a white shape so you just grab a white shape grab a white shape like that like so extend it and then go to crop mask enter shape and select circle so once you just um, now once you selected the circle you go back a bit and then you adjust this you see a red line once that red line shows it's telling you it's a perfect circle so you can go out and then just you know adjust it and drop it right there okay so it's a very simple um, step to to go by okay so and then for for your um, all right now for the gentleman here all you need to do is go grab your image okay so you grab the image you already have and then you do the same thing that you just did um, go to cropping select your mask and then pick a shape circle and um, you know go back and then yeah because it pops like that it's telling you it's already a perfect circle so you go back and then you can just adjust it and drop it on there so basically you're not doing anything extra now for this big circle this one here all I did is I duplicated the white circle I created before and then I came here changed the color and I selected this one period and then I send it to back so once you create it you come here and then you click on send to back so it will be at the back right period and then every other thing is just copy and paste all right now is the same thing uh, so the text um, you can just write a text open um, your text whatever here and then type in the text and all you just need to do is to give it the in animation that that slide right in animation okay so it's not something difficult so you enter slide right okay and then for the slideshow the same thing enter slide right now for the third scene we are using the same thing we used in the second scene all right so you discover there is nothing different all we did was just change the position so it's only the position in that changed and then we introduce uh, like uh, a, a, a text that gives us a bit of explanation of what, what we are doing all right so the, all this is basically your own preference all right so but the design is just as you see there the same thing now for this we are using the same um, elements that we use in scene one all right just the same elements you discover is the same uh, arrangement in scene one that we are using in scene four here right here all that is different is we duplicated this circle this circle right here and then we drop our image on top of it period nothing big nothing um, hard all right so that's that for that and then for the final um, all that is different here now is our text uh, sorry our logo that we just brought in and then we changed the way we arrange our text and that's just it very simple in 15 minutes or 20 minutes you, sh you should be able to create this all right it's not hard it's not difficult it's something you can just go ahead and create all right so that's it for this tutorial and once you are done if you do it well the outcome should look like this